This is a quick video explaining a Java list versus array list. So let's go ahead and kind of talk about what a list is. So you probably are familiar with an array. Uh, let's let's do an array of integers. Let's say here's an array, um, and we'll say new uh, int array, and we'll define it right here, and it'll be one, two, three, right? That's an array of integers. The uh, difference between a list and an array, so we'll have a list. Let's create a list of integers. Uh, there's a couple differences, so let's do that. Uh, this is a list, and list equals new array list. All right, and you probably have a bunch of questions about why I did all these things. Uh, this is an array. This is a contiguous block of memory. And then this is a list. This is a set of... Uh, this may be a contiguous block of memory. It's probably it's probably it's an array under the hood if you use array list. But really, all the list is it's an interface that defines. I can add things to this list. I can remove things to this list. I can traverse through the list like with a loop. But that's all that the list does because there are different types of lists. Now I could I could just as easily have said uh, new linked list here. And a linked list is different it's because each element has a pointer to the next element in the list. It's very different from array list where under the hood it's actually an array like this. Um, so the fundamental difference between list and array list, uh, which is the topic of this video, is that list is an interface and uh, it's not a concrete class. So if I want to say list integer uh, int list two, and I want to say new list, you can't do that because a list is just an interface. Now. To ignore that one. That's a Java AWT list that has something to do with, uh, you know, displaying graphical elements. You don't want to look at that. We're talking about just regular plain old lists. Uh, you can't do that. If you try to do that, it's going to ask you to uh, implement all of these methods because it's an anonymous inner type. You're not ever able to instantiate this directly. So what you have to do instead is use a concrete class like array list, new array list. There we go. And then you'll be able to treat this as a generic list. You can add things. We'll add a 5 to it. Um, but it's actually an array list. So concretely underneath the hood of this list, it's an array list, even though we can treat it like just a generic list. And now there's one other thing that you need to know that you can do. You can define a list as an array list. There's nothing that uh, int list 3. There's nothing that'll stop you from doing this. It's just bad form because you don't need to define it as a concrete class. You can define it as the interface, and then anything you can do to a list, you should be able to do with the array list. And then it also frees you up to use different types of lists in there um, uh, after the fact. So you could change your implementation to use you know, your own custom type of list if you want, and then just treat it as a list as long as you implement this list interface. So. That is the difference between a list and an array list. Uh, and then I guess we should we can just uh, uh, let's say sys out some of this stuff just so you can see that there's no real difference in the way that these work. Let's say in list two. Um, let's just run that Java application. There's a five in there. So I'll add some more things in here. In list two dot add. Uh, let's add ten to that one. And then here we go. Let's add a uh, for int list three. We'll add a eight and int list int list three. We'll add a how about we add a thirteen? Um, and then I'll print these both out, and you're going to see that there's not really like a difference between them. See, there you go, they behave the same. Um, so again, list is an interface. There are different types of lists. Array list is a specific type of concrete class that's an implementation of list, and it's based on arrays under the hood. So, all right, if it was uh, useful, like or subscribe, etc. Thanks for watching.